yada 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 yada. <laughs> <laughs> we're live welcome guys to episode 78 of eggcast with john egger we have my good friend matt so sir can <laughs> and eggcast regular and favorite sean rain what's Not up mike what's <laughs> what's happening <laughs> Mike, Ty- I fucking love the backyardigans. <laughs> yeah. We should probably cut that. No, why, why? What's the What's the big deal? What's the big deal? It's why? It's a cold yeah. open, bro. Yeah. It's a straight yeah, cold right. open. But Sirkin, um, so, so what happened, bro? You got you got robbed. Somebody, somebody, somebody jacked your shit. Tell us. Hundred fifty three dollars. So, I had to call my bank. Yeah. File a dispute. And then I had to call the GM of that fucking David Musters. So wait, how did that guy get caught though? On camera, hey, they looked up the time. Uh, okay. So you, so time. so so take me through what happened. So you dropped your, your, your card somewhere. Like, did you lose it or like yeah. someone pick it from you? It was uh. dropped on the ground. Oh, uh, you. So what? How? What were you doing with it out? Like, wh- like, what'd you? I don't wh- know. You it don't re- remember? How did you know it, was David it just Busters? fell. Fell. Was yeah. it in your wallet? Oh, because I. That was the last place I Oh, well, you know what? Because you're probably, like... Because you have, like, the card and the, the game card in your wallet, right? Yeah. Who are you there with? Me, Frank, and Jack. Oh, cool. And you, and you, um... When did you find out that you had got it stolen? It got... It got fucking... It got fucking oh. robbed! When did you know you got robbed? <laughs> Um, Somebody jacked that shit and started and 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 paid f- and paid for their date with it. Yeah. Well, how much money was it? 153. <laughs> paid for their did, gas. Paid for the date. The where you get the tickets or the points? Really? That's what he. Yeah, I thought you were gonna see like a, a statement, and it was just like um, I don't know, like David Buster's 150. Somebody dropped like. <laughs> But so they, found, they got like a clear, um, they got like a clear view of the guy's face in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> did so? Did they? Uh, did they book him yet? Is he? I don't know is he? Yet. No. They're trying to identify him. But you're getting your money back, I'm right? My money back. I had to wait two weeks to get a paper check in the mail. That's hey. I mean, that's something. You know, it's not like they're oh, like. So you're still waiting on a refund. Yeah, but you'll get it. You know what I mean? Do you get any compensation from Dave and Buster's or like just for? No, Dave and Buster's. Yo, Dave and Buster's doesn't even have bowling, bro. Yeah. Are you I serious? Know, like, I thought they. No. Oh, they have like, skeet ball. What did you guys go yeah. there for? Oh, the eat and arcade. Yeah. Yo, Brunswick Zone has bowling and arcade and food. Yeah, I know that'd be good, man. How you guys uh, but the Dave and Buster's food, though, I will. I will say, Dave and Buster's has the best food out of any of those like arcade type places. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like Dave and Buster's has the best shit. Maybe not Top Golf though. Have you guys ever been to fucking Oof, yeah. Top Golf? Yeah. That's like, have you ever seen the videos of people falling off the top of the of the? Yeah, I always of the Top Golf. I always wondered that. I was like, there's gotta be. One. They're always hammered. There's gotta be some like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, um, my uh, I know somebody um. I know, like, works at Top Golf, and they say, like, there's always, like, people falling, like, because they have those safety nets. And people get and stuck in them. And they always get, like, a couple guys every day they have to fish out, like. I don't know they, if they use, like, the like the arcade crane, and they just try to, like, pick it up, and they <laughs> drop him, <laughs> and then he, he falls back in the safety net. <laughs> yeah, man, those those people are crazy, and, like, yeah. it all depends, because, like, you see some people at Top Golf that are, like, obviously they've been working on this, like, so they can look cool in public, like or whatever. They're they're a golfer or whatever, and like they have like better swings. And then some people are just like, like leaning into that shit and swing and like f- and their I mean, whole no, uh, yeah. it makes their whole body just fall. Like, no, they lose the no control pro. of their entire body. I'm like I'm just I'm not I'm, I'm barely half a beginner. Decent. I'm barely a beginner. I never really golfed before. Bro, have you ever gotten like hit by a golf ball or like had one fall like close to you? Jack pegged one at me when we were younger. I think. But like I mean by like hitting like, oh, like by a, from a golf club oh, or something. Oh hell no. <laughs> no! Eddie almost did. I thought Eddie or Pat. <laughs> really? He, yeah, because he lived right behind the golf course. Oh, like, yeah. But he had his own. It was his own club and ball. Like he had. No, no. no like somebody was golfing and like, dude, I had it happen to me. I was over at that big lake at the end of the golf course near like where we live by, right. and. I was fishing. I was like twelve. It hurts. And I was heard it secret s- pond? 
No, it was like the big, the big pond. Oh, uh, the like big the, one. The, the big lake, and um, I'm sitting there fishing, and I just hear something whiz past my ear, and poof, like a big splash in yeah. the fucking water, and then I hear a bunch of dudes. Like fucking cheering, and I was like, "You assholes! Like you pieces of shit!" Oh, what they meant that, to do that. What shit. if that shit would have hit me, and I would have fallen into the water and like and drowned? Like, yeah, you I mean, know you gotta, what I mean? You gotta understand. Like, like how old they'd were, have blood on their they? on their fucking hands, and they'd <laughs> yeah. probably get off. How like, old were they? I don't know. I couldn't see. They're probably older. They're probably, probably just yeah. fucking yeah. old dudes. Man versions of We used to fish there all the yeah, time, and people, a bunch of old assholes, people like old Eds, like like something like like something like that. From their point of view, would be comedic. To yeah. See a 12-year-old kid get pelt with a golf ball. Yeah, if you're like a fucking asshole and like sadistic or something. They're probably, yeah. they probably just drinking. Over so a crazy time was around the golf course around here was quarantine time because quarantine time brought out like everybody could finally coexist together and be happy. Like there were like freelance golfers out golfing the golf course for free. There were like people fishing it. There were Shit. people walking it walking around happy, for exercise. People with their dogs. Yeah, everybody was having a good fucking I'm time. I'm sure we like outfished all those lakes when we were younger. Yeah, but like, but you could still go back there and catch fish. Yeah, probably. You know, and like, um, I went there a few times. I remember I was there one time. I might have been with Jack, I think, actually. And um, we saw we met some guy there that had like his wife and his kid and he had like a MAGA hat on and was fishing <laughs> and some old guy these two old guys were up here playing golf and the guy went to like chip a ball with his iron or something he hit this like long ass shot and it and it came in so fast towards the wife and the kid and the guy was like four four like <laughs> screaming it and it like literally landed like eight feet from the fucking kid i'm like bro Damn. that that could have been so close to just <laughs> Like, and dun you know, Dunzo, like, yeah, it's dangerous. Like, I remember one time I was walking with my girlfriend on the golf course, like, for a little bit, and I was like, yo, like, they're about to, like, hit. Like, we should get off. Like, we should move. And she's like, no, it's fine. Like, it's whatever. And then the fucking golf ball landed, like, five feet from us. I'm like, yeah, dude, but, like, but do you see what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah, like, it's canceled it your life. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah, I guess. It is what it is. You'd, you know, this life is bigger than... <laughs> Bro, sometimes we'll go that on walks what? and she'll be like, um, yeah, let's like walk into like, let's just walk through this like path on the golf course. Yeah, and um, there's like people golfing. I'm like, all right, um, I guess we're doing this. You like, like, you know right? what I mean? like, like any cartoon, like it was like that traditional, like you take the two paths. It's like one looks like nice and shiny and the other one there's like fucking hooks and like swords, like swinging back and forth and like pendulums of yeah, and like, just, like <laughs> booby traps. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then they go down that trail anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or it's like that uh the spongebob movie with they go down the patrick's like feeling the step out and step. It's like it looks safe to me <laughs> <laughs> and then they um they put the mustaches on bro that's what it's like when you go to like <laughs> i don't know like like when you <laughs> when you walk into like a na like you say you not like a regular party but you walk into like a really nasty party oh, and you just see like man. and then you just like you're like yeah you have to get in like through this like hole in the wall like this looks safe to me. Like, and it's just like you walk in and like, you just smell like mold and like pussy dust and like, oh just fucking God. like, like <laughs> and, you know, like moldy like, pussy dust. Yeah. Just like, there's like they, sweat um, coming off the ceilings. There's sweat coming off like the a, walls. It turns into like a musical scene of uh, like now that we're men, like in the SpongeBob movie. Oh yeah. They God. just, they just befriend all the fucking yeah, monsters. Yeah. Cause they have the seaweed mustaches. Yeah. <laughs> No, they're like, they're like, we got away from these and disgusting, yeah, horrible monsters. Yeah, and then they, walk, like, they all yeah. walk away because they have feelings, too. Yeah. And they're yeah. like, not you guys. <laughs> you yeah. guys are cool. <laughs> and then Patrick was like, yeah, it was those other hideous <laughs> monsters. Bro, people really be out here in real life doing that shit where they'll be like, yeah, like, I hate, like, all these fuck. No, but you guys, no, you guys are my favorite, though. Like, you guys are so cool. Like, Yeah, I know, like, I know. Like, there's always people, you everybody's, know. everybody's guilty of it. Like, people love to act like they, like, 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 that's, like, the same type of people that are, like, you know, like, we're best friends, but, like, we just, we just don't talk about politics because we don't agree on political view. Like, like, if you're like that, if you hold something that near and dear where you can't fucking, like, Talk, talk about, about it. it when you hang out. Like you guys are pussies, you know. Uh, Jack is well, kind of like, like <laughs> really? Nah, I'm kidding. Nah, That's Jack's actually more mean. Nah, nah, ja Jack's just coming off the. Ja Jack's just coming no, off the. Oh um, no. Oh, politics. The communist manifesto. Nah, all we talk about really is cars. Yeah. Yeah, we only really talk about like cars and fishing. Yeah, dude, that's Jack, man. 
Jack's Dude, here right now. He's. I'll it's take. A, I'll take Jack's role. It's a simple life. I mean, like you know, like we all just got to try to live it and let yeah. live the way we can. Yeah. You know. That's the only way. And I talk all this shit, but like obviously, like I love all of our friends, and like we're all like yeah, homies. Whatever, like, like, like live however the fuck you want to live. Yeah, I'm. Like, I'm here to be live free about, with like, with y'all. You know exactly what I mean? Whatever you're worried about. That's why we live in the U.S. of A. Motherfuckers. Like. It's like whatever you're worried about. Like whatever you feel holding your back. It doesn't even matter. You know, mm. you just got to let everything go. Yeah, man, you just got to, you got to let loose and just yeah. go with the flow. I feel like a lot of people so have so much, like, most difficulty people, going going with the flow because they only want to picture where they feel like they could be. But, like, where you are from where you were is, like, so substantial that why don't you just enjoy, like, where you are now? Well, Enjoy the time you have now while you have less shit going on because, like, once everything's going on, you're going to feel like you have no fucking time, you know? I saw that quote today on Instagram. Really? Yeah, I think so. Like, word for word? Not word for word. Hell no. It yeah, was, like, the like, same premise. Okay, yeah. What was that quote that you put today? Consistency. No, no, the other one. Oh, uh, with the kids? Yeah, I think so. Don't have kids. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, was there a third just one? like no kids. Fuck that shit. No, it was about. You want to bring oh, into the like world? about reality with life. Bro, could you imagine a uh, little little Sirkans? Oh my god. Maybe the yeah, mini Sirkans running around. I can't about, can't uh, can't <laughs> we all want yeah. this like nice fancy life. They'd be like, "Daddy, do the thing." Be like, "I." It was something along those lines. Okay. Yeah, you put I that on your story. Him and his kids would be fishing for yeah. like eight hours. Sir, if you no, had kids, you could asking. take them fishing, and you guys could catch way more fish together. Hell. Yeah, you could catch. If you ever had kids, you could just teach them to go fishing, and then when you guys all yeah. go fishing, yeah, you can catch way, mo- way, way more you fish. Like go on camping trips and have all this fun with kids, though. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Kids, Sir, kids, Sir, kids love shit. Like why you're not? Building, you're strengthening the Turkish army. I mean, you can't be doing like. <laughs> doing no, that. I'm not saying like you gotta take. You're gonna have to take care of a kid when you get it. Big but circle. like, you could still take your kid on a camping trip someday. Big circle with a kid in it and the red thing going like that. <laughs> no so you kid. say that now. Is, um, he's ah! that now. John, watch this future oh, kid bro. be watching this one day and they're like that's your dad right there <laughs> yeah. yeah oh man yeah <laughs> yeah like, watches, that's like, your dad being like never that fact like after <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's 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 your dad like oh i'm never having kids like <laughs> and the kid's watching this right now like fuck dad like what the <laughs> fuck damn that's the crazy thing about our generation is that all this shit is gonna be just like out there in the ether all of our social media yeah. where like our generation and before it's kind of hard for us to find shit of our grandparents it's and our great grandparents but but then two generations yeah <laughs> it's all stories all the next generations after it's st- we don't like need to say our stories it's all on there only fans tiktok yeah Yo, i swear to god Instagram. these kids are going to see their moms on only fans in like 20 years yeah all Dude, these yeah <laughs> i've seen people on tiktok and they're like 20 year like our age and they're already moms like they have like 2 year old 3 year old kids and they're on yeah. tiktok and like their bios would say like it w- i saw it on a meme page it was um it was like venmo only fans link cash app like all this stuff like and she's like working at applebee's like she's working at applebee's but like she's but doing she's th- but she's hustling she's yeah right yeah, like right. nine to five pays she's the bills applebee's hu- yeah she's tiktoking for the kid best that's gonna be mom of the year in probably 10, 10 i know years. who that i think i know who that is do you know what i'm talking about i think i do Wait, wait, do Dude. you want to pull it up now or just after i can hold yeah on. let's actually you know is it be, is it like cordon I'm trying to. I'm Something trying to like move that. away. Yeah, from I like, have her followed. Dude, yeah. TikTok. <laughs> He's got her followed. There's, I have her followed. There's, great minds, likewise. There's a lot of great. Um, how do I put this? There's a lot of oh, great lanes on TikTok. But I'm trying to like break away from one of the main ones, and I'm not saying main ones like that. I just like completely like I'm looking at all the right time, there, right? but saying that like it's just like you're at like. Like, let's face it, if you if you start a brand new TikTok account and you have no algorithm, like, clean slate, all you're going to get is the stereotypical hot chicks dancing. You know what I mean? Like, all that bullshit. Like, what about mushroom TikTok? What about prison talks? That's her, right? What about, um... That's a different one, actually. No way. Yeah. Sean, get on the mic, man. <laughs> yeah, what do you... Oh, you gotta charge his phone. Oh, yeah, just keep yeah. it there. It's cool. Wait, wait, so... 
so girls really do be yo do you guys remember teen mom did you ever watch that yeah show? yeah <laughs> No, oh, I, actually, yes, I saw that. When, when I was young, and when I was younger, and I saw Team Mom, since I was a young kid, I thought, you know, like sixteen, that's not like that crazy of an age. That, and now that I'm like a like five years older than that, I look at that and I'm like, what the fuck? Because like, yeah, I would feel something. like them now, like you know, like yeah. like you know what I mean, like like that's yeah, for them to feel that at such a young you, age is you like. You ever have um? Yeah. Insane. You ever have days where you feel a lot older than you are actually? Like you wake up some days, you feel like this miserable. Uh, tough exterior, fifty-year-old man. Like, already yeah, been through I wake like up, the, dude. I feel like that in my been through, like, body. Three marriages and like, yeah. Sometimes some, I feel my knees. I feel yeah, bad. Like, like, I can't. I feel my age for knees. no reason. I can't like, control every, it. But like, some, like you pour, you're making coffee and like you spill your creamer on the side and you just gotta clean. That's another. No, that's another <laughs> thing in the way. And like, your car doesn't start. <laughs> yeah. And all yeah. that stuff in between. That you that's ever feel that horrible. way. Yeah, I feel that way sometimes. I I get like that's not me. I was just like explaining like examples for. Yeah, that was dude. I feel old in like my back. Like if my back yeah. is like hurting me, I can I I it my back it's and no my legs. like it's no guarantee that I won't be in a shitty mood because I'll just right. be like like sometimes like if the right am- amount of things match up where I get like super tight, like it can cause. I feel like I get like headaches and then I get like tired. Dang. You know. Well, that's what I was thinking. But like, that's why like I I think it's so important to do things like sh- like like foam roll and hang from a oh, bar yeah, dude. and think, stretch um, yeah I, you think if uh, if frank murphy had foam roll and all that stuff back in the, like in the in the show like he would be a better dad bro that's what i think about like dudes in the 70s and 80s never thought about like actually like like making sure that they felt good and that their spine was all right i bet you if you took all those old dudes from the 70s and fucking just crack gave them a, like a straight crack and like cracked yeah. their shit like they take the traditional it route. Would, it, they would just be like, oh, it's well, like I mean, zen. Nobody, nobody's you know? thinking about that. Nobody dude. can be zen when they have fucking like, knots about, in their um, back. They're thinking about chicks or dudes or cars and fishing and yeah. Mike Tyson. Like Nobody was thinking about their back. That's all I ever think about. <laughs> yeah, and like MC <laughs> Hammer. And like that was the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do you guys remember like... Like I remember going to... A, f- a flea market like the Bur- it might have been I don't think it was the Berlin, Berlin one oh, it was, Berlin? I remember going to like some some flea market and my 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 grandpa bought me a like a I don't know if it was like either I don't think it was like a GameCube it was like a knockoff like Joy-Con type of controller thing and it was like a Mario game Really, but was it was it just a, uh, one game. It, it was, like, it was a, like an arcade version. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, so tight. I know you're talking. It's not. That's not like an. It's not like an official like Nintendo system that you would find. Yeah, but it's just kind of like a knockoff one where they would just put one game on it. Yeah, like, as an emulate. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was the fucking dopest have, thing ever. I actually remember that. Like, yeah. I had um. What was the yeah. uh? Oh, I had Genesis. That's what that that that's like not talked about enough. I had the Genesis. It was just play like Sega, like Sonic. Oh shit. Yeah. I also got a 2010 Winter Classic jersey. It was like a knockoff, but it was like from one of those fucking flea markets. My oh, grandma I mean, got me that. You remember, like, like, did you ever buy any jerseys where we used to work at? Nah, you never because d- they were all fucking shit. I shitty. bought Carson one because they're all, it's a it's a it's a secondhand sports store, so all the jerseys oh, are shit. old are yeah, old like I bought, jerseys um, of guys that aren't even on the same team. I anymore. remember the first <laughs> week there, I bought uh like the LeBron jersey. It was like extra large, like it literally goes down to my knees. <laughs> it's just it was, a cool was, thing to was, have. It was his high school jersey, though. That's exactly why I said Saint. It was the Saint Vincent. I don't know Saint how. I don't know oh, how yeah, yeah. the fuck that got into. Somebody must have just needed the. Can you buy that? Like, were, were they merch? Like, like I bought the. LeBron. I'm sure they were I, at one point, I, dude. Really? I remember the one day. Uh, I remember last year. Um, you remember Carmelo like Nuggets jersey? That was. I wonder like, if really it was nice. like actually his. Oh, the the blue one. Yeah, the, the blue and gold 15. one. Brendan called like dibs on it, and this lady came in and bought it. That sucks. Like this crazy late, this crazy mom came. Like she wor- she would work out at the Edge Fitness, and then she'd come in. She's like, probably gonna wear it and like, fucking um, sweat in it, and like like f- I came get in, dog I came in like an hour yeah. later. Like I think like. it was, I think Brendan and Vince opened, so I came right in the middle of like, and it's the same lady I've seen before. Like she talks to you for twenty minutes before you can even check her out, like check her stuff out. Yeah, like to get her out of there. Yeah, just like, like crazy lady. Yeah, and um. She's just like, uh, and it was like the Nuggets jersey, and she wanted to buy that. And then she starts going off this spiel about other stuff. She's telling, uh, she's telling like me, Vince, and Brendan, like, uh, 
She's like, my kids need medication and every other <laughs> yeah. every other inconvenience in the book. And then she leaves, and I look at Vince, and he's like, I think I think she needs medication. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so I felt so bad because he he missed out. The whole point was that he missed out on that Nuggets jersey. Like yeah. he was about to buy it like later in the day. Like he called dibs on it. Some cool like jerseys Bojack. will come through. Like some cool some cool jerseys they would do. come through. They do. Come. I bought like five five or six jerseys from there. Yeah. Like, I bought my dad the uh, Mookie Betts Red Sox jersey, and then they traded him <laughs> to the Dodgers the next year. <laughs> Damn. But it's a thought that counts, right? Yeah, it was a thought that he counts. He probably liked it when he got it. Yeah, like it, we ha- yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. I wanted to get my little sister that old Vince Carter one from Toronto. Oh, uh, those are, ni- those are, those old are nice s- ones. And yeah. McGrady. Yeah, yeah McGrady, McGrady, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was a James Harden one, and it was a medium and I was too big to what because this was after like I got big and now I'm small again. But this was when I was at my peak shape. Yeah. I'm trying to put it on, and it was the day when everybody came in from the Wharton. And Wait, which which one? The it was a heart James Harden jersey. Is that the one you used to wear like all the time and the shit? The Thunder one or no, nah, the Harden. Rockets one. All right. I yeah. mean the Rockets, yeah. But like it was the hottest. It, the AC blew out and all the Wharton kids came in at the same. So there was like 50 people in there, and I'm wearing like a long sleeve shirt. Because like you're sweating? Yeah, because yeah. I don't want to... It's either I take the shirt off and put the, the Harden jersey on, and it's, like, sleeveless, so, like, my arms are, like, being strangled and yeah, my chest yeah. and... Yeah, yeah. And I was, like, True. I didn't know if I wanted to be that guy, like, fitting people. Like, all, like... Yeah, all right. like Let me fit you, yeah. Yeah, it's, like, Fucking. any guy at the GNC when you walk in, and then, like, you you just want your eye on one thing, and then they suggest six other things to buy. Yeah. Do you walk into the GNC sometimes and, like... For a second, you just think the guy's not there, and you think about if I walk out right now, like he won't try to sell me like eight things. But then he and walks then he out, you. and then he walks out, and he's like, "Yo, what's up, bro?" <laughs> like, like <laughs> nobody, you do not leave the GNC without any type of conversation, dialogue, exchange. Nobody's safe, dude. The best is the one chick was like, "We were, bro." I walked in and I was like. Yo, that sign guy out there is f- hilarious. Like, he's, like, ridiculous. Like, and she's like, yeah, yeah it's I my s- brother. <laughs> like, yeah, I see him there all the like, time, like, on Street yeah, Landing Road. Yeah, And I would always bro. just, like, give him a thumbs up, like, like pulling in a shop where I'm like, you're my boy. I Yeah, he's... He points bro, right back to you, too. Yeah, he's... I know. He he's living like, his I'm, best life, bro. Most of the sign guys, they don't even want to, like... They're very mean for whatever re- they're mean to people. Well, because people are probably mean to them. They're yeah, probably right. miserable. Yeah, I know. It's Bro, like that's like when I did when I worked at a uh, fucking um, Creamy Acres as a as a fucking scare actor as like a that? scary actor. No, dude. The Why? first. Well, let me just get from the jump. Like, not to like shit on Creamy Acres because they were cool they're people a fun place. and I thought they're I really like nice. There. I think they're really nice and I think they're cool people. I think the issue is that like. They were, like, not really paying. They were paying minimum wage, but they were acting like it was a big deal because minimum wage raised. They're like, we are make, we are raising our pay. Since this is the highest we've ever paid a- any of our actors. And, and it's like, yeah, because it's minimum wage. Yeah, and yeah, they right. raised it up like yeah. 50. Yeah, like and I've then, had guys be like, you're going to get full $10 an hour. I gave you a raise. Like and then literally all the, cent all the training leading yeah. up to, like, the first night was all unpaid. They gave us tickets to give to, like, our... To our family members and shit, oh, shit. which was kind of cool, we but go- like it was like that's so gay. Like, like you already fucking, know about everything we should there, be, so you, we should be getting paid from the jump if this is a job, bro. If I have to fill out a W two, I should be getting paid many, from the uh, first time I show how up. How many shows like, did you have to do there? I only did a few, and then I fucking bailed. I did three, and th- you know what I realized? Cause, cause it's I was doing <clears throat> it's the stress. Cause you got all it's that the beating makeup. shit on too. Because like my first cart was a bunch of 12 year olds and they just ripped me to shreds because like, like cause you think you're like cool and scary and then you meet a bunch of t- little small teenagers and they just want to like, like, like they just want to say funny shit to you to impress yeah. their friends and then you get the older guys who the older teenagers who are like like i'm not scared like I've, the most pussy place to act tough is at a haunted house because we're yeah. literally not allowed to touch you you know what i mean and i would break the rules like sometimes i would get in people's faces and start fucking screaming like i'll fucking kill you like, Yo. like what you're not supposed to say <laughs> and got, like you got like three days <laughs> grace mode on them yeah <laughs> yeah and then like and then i was fucking like like I, 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 I would like i would like i would like like 
pretend that I wasn't hitting somebody and would fucking like swoop around and fucking like catch their fucking like I shirt. Was, I was at and the dude was like, you got dirt on my jersey, you asshole. And I was like, fuck you, I bitch. Was, I was <laughs> like, fucking kid. some kid. And yeah, bro, like people were fucking I felt with me. Bad, like now, like I was like, I'm going to get nah, but for that. Because I was like 14, 15. Like I was at the age of, I was way above the age of reason to know what was right and wrong. Yeah. But I just wanted to do it anyway. Just like. From because I just it's like I don't know if it was just lack of self respect. Yeah, it'd be or, like that. I mean, yeah. I, I I look back and I'm like, damn, like if I were those kids, like because they they were probably they're probably gonna remember this as like this was like a fun time. So yeah, like, I don't look at it like a bad thing. Were you one of the guys but, with the chainsaws? No, I was right before. I literally was d- the stop r- right before that. The you know? Ride. No, no, all the oh, you know when you go by all the cars and it like honks and stuff. Yeah, I I was like the junkyard guy, which was such a stupid character because like <laughs> they really shouldn't have fucking put put somebody in there because they were <laughs> you're coming right up on the chainsaws like, like just do the chainsaw, yeah. you know. But they put me in there yeah, to do some s- little spiel, and I have to scream this at the top of my lungs, and I don't know how to properly do like a death metal scream without hurting my voice. So these slow Dang. nights, I'm like screaming hard, like fucking up my throat, and like. I realized I was like, by the end of these slow nights, I could barely do it anymore. I was like, dude, I'm not gonna be able to do it when well, it's like Halloween and it's like oh, one after the well, other. So I just quit. I was like, I have to fucking quit. You had to put all the makeup on too, right? Yeah, it, that part, I, I, it was actually pretty fun. Like the little community they had and shit. I just didn't have the right spot to like to stick with it, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you're putting so much, you're putting so much physical energy into doing that. Just to get shitted on by twelve-year-old kids, and you're and next to that, you're not getting paid enough to convince you to. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you're just like, what are my so values? I really wanted to be one of the chainsaw people because they, I thought they were the fucking coolest. But I think, I think but they were like all yee yees. Like they all knew what they were doing, mm-hmm. and like I didn't know what I was. I think, dude, one guy was like a ch- the chicken man. <laughs> like, <laughs> you gotta like not be in the right state of mind that to be a chainsaw guy. I, think. Th- I I would love to take mushrooms and go back to. Fucking oh my like god! Like I would probably I freak die. out. If I'd I were to do mushrooms, one of my, one of my trips would have to be going through a haunted house. Yeah, that's got to be so fun and being like, Whoa. but I also get really claustrophobic, yeah, like and a, apparently they have like the some dark ones. They have some. They have some dark rooms in there where you're like really like you feel like you're being born again. Like Slenderman. Yeah, it's like, oh, bro, like it's so fucking. Yo, yeah, you feel like you run out of like oxygen. I hate that shit. Yeah. Or go to. You ever go to a graveyard or like go like ghost hunting, like in the cemeteries? No, that I sounds like, that they, sounds more fun. Like that and, does sound like fun, especially ja- on shrooms. Oh, I thought like you and Jack did that. Like, <laughs> oh my I don't lord! Know. I no, because like if you Jack if you go Frank, ghost hunting on shrooms, you might actually oh, see did. one. We did. We used to. We went to one in Vineland. Yeah. Yeah, the abandoned Vineland training school. Yeah, we used to, because, like, my, some of my friends, they have, like, these EMF readers that apparently um, attract spirits. Like, you, if you get, like, a heartbeat signal, mm-hmm. and you're like, wait a minute, there's no guy right there. Because huh. everybody's behind us. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> and then he actually has the thing, like, backwards, so it's actually just picking up all our... <laughs> you're going to remember this. You're <laughs> here for like this. like, a funny scene I just came <coughs> up with, but, like... No, dudes love to have an EKG reader and be like, yo, so, like... <laughs> What's what's up with who? What's going on with you? Like who are you? And and, oh, no. and then it'll go like t- it'll tick <laughs> one thing and they'll be like, Yo. <laughs> yeah, Who's right. The, uh, what's the TV show? The guys that do that? Ghost Hunters. Ghost, Ghost Hunters. Is that the Taps. South Park thing? I I yeah, they made it fun was of them. South Park. Yeah. I actually yeah. liked those guys. I don't yeah, like the cool. other guy. Like the one guy's like the one guy's like go Ghost. What do you think of my tattoos? And the ghost is like <laughs> it, it's sick. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's just straight lying to him. Yeah. Like, it's like, Ghost, it's what do you think of my <laughs> tattoos, Ghost? It's really bad. This dude just wanted yeah. to take his shirt off and fucking, like, show off his tattoos. Yeah. 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 It's like, because they're in a church, they're like, tattoos were forbidden. Like, Ghost, what do you think you of my tattoos? Every fucking Guido, every fucking Guido Italian guy that goes to church on Sunday has a big cross tattooed on his oh, fucking fuck face or <laughs> back or back or <laughs> chest. Or shoulder. Shoulder. What about 6 9 Leg. Yeah, uh, six nine. He has it on. He his just has then. six nine, right? Oh, yeah, that's, he does. Bro, like, yeah. he, that's such a cool. Like at the DMV, do you think you need like, to use that for six points, or you can just tattoo your name on your forehead? <laughs> no, they'd be like, "Do you have an appointment?" <laughs> He'd fucking block up before you get yeah. shot. Up. <laughs> like, <laughs> like fuck, fuck DMV, like bro. By the I, no, nah, I don't actually mean that. Um. Sorry. I have to go. I have to go back to the DMV soon. Me I'm, too. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I I'm, do too. I'm gonna do that. I love the DMV. 
Uh, the West, De- the bitch at the West Deptford who gave me a problem. You can f- go fuck yourself. But I'll be yeah. seeing her. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna be seeing her in a month, so I'll put a w- good word in for you. Damn, bro, she might just kick you. She's like the best. She's no. probably the best bouncer I've ever faced. Like, wait, she was behind the desk. Yeah, I tried talking my way. to multiple bouncers? Well, like, when I tried going to Skeeter's one time yeah, we just were to all, eat all food. Yeah, all of us went there. But it was, like, 10 o'clock, so, like, they had all these bouncers out. Like, are yeah. you guys 21? And we were like, no. That? Yeah, we, <laughs> were like, we were like, no, but, like, we want to eat. We eat here all the time. Like, can we sit and eat? Like, that was, um, and they were like, no, you have to go, John, you have that, to leave. That was, like, <laughs> and that was we like were three like, years ago. <laughs> that, was like, um, that was, like, three years ago, and we used to go to Skeeter's, like, every weekend. Like, yeah. every school weekend. And then we tried to go the one time. And that big guy, like, it was, like, the big show, like, just walked up to us. Yeah. Or, like, Undertaker. Like We just got- we just showed up late as fuck, I guess. And he's Dang. like, we don't take kindly to eight-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, yeah. dude, you're, like, 500 pounds. No <laughs> offense, but, like, yeah. you're, like, fucking huge. Like, just well, let us in, man. Bouncer. Like, like we're hungry. Like, you can sympathize. Let us in, man. Like, yeah. nah, that's fucked up, but I'm just kidding. I just... Yeah, man, um... They wouldn't let us in. That's crazy. Yeah. I went yeah. to... I was at a... I was... That same year, I was at, like, a hotel bar with, like, a couple of my college buddies that were, like, of age, like, drinking age. Because we were on... We were uh, traveling for our, our hockey games. We had a ho- uh, For our hockey team. And, um... I sat at the bar, and the guy looked at me from, like, my ID, and I was like, I'm not 21. I was like, I'm not drinking. And he was like, oh, well, you can't sit at the bar. Like, blah, blah, blah. I was like what the fuck bro like i'm not even i'm not even drinking like yeah. i can't sit here and then like and then like he's like it's law like whatever so then we had to sit at, like a little table i felt but i felt like a loser i'm like ah damn i'm bumming the boys out you know because yeah. but i was a youngin bro i was a, a true f- college freshman and Dang, like some 15 this, and one of the i was not 18 oh college freshman yeah yeah and um and bull the one bull was like 25 <laughs> like on our team yeah. like it was like such a sliding scale of like people in different stages of life you know what i mean it's, it's crazy yeah like, it's crazy i mean it really depends on just who you hang out with all the time true true like if you're like in a, gr- a circle with like older kids true it's just uh i don't know you just yeah. tend to act older yeah you're like the odd man out true that's always kind of like how i felt but then like also i always gravitated towards like the Youth. like not only you no just like the quiet kids more like yeah. like <coughs> and it would depend because like like now when i think about like um the quiet like my kids buddies and shit they have a higher story arc yeah i yeah. and i love i love yeah. i love um i love loud and compelling storytellers and kids like that yeah. and like all my boys like that like but like i feel like when i get around the people who are like quiet and like the bigger groups is when you start to really learn a lot more about like people like you know what i mean because they got more inside of them yeah they like i think about like like sirkan like if if anybody looked at sirkan on the street that like sirkan would never talk sirkan would never say anything like not saying that you wouldn't say anything yeah, to, never, to them because you would no, no you would stick up first that's not what i'm trying to say i'm just saying though like sirkan if you saw like a random lady on the street and she walked up to you like like and looked at you like excuse me <laughs> like would you like would you stop or would you just keep walking, keep walking. yeah exactly <laughs> like so like you know sir in a big crowd hard. like not like that type of guy but like but like i'm just like somehow by the, the grapevine i somehow got to know you and the fact that you're still in my life is like crazy f- to me th- to think but like i'm glad like i'm just using you as an example yeah, like i'm glad i <clears> met you too i'm glad i fucking met you because i've never met a person that was even remotely close to being like you before <laughs> You're a special yeah, person, I, I literally just met you, I think, like a few months ago. <coughs> yes. Yo, Sir Cam met Dante. Yeah, I was here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were yeah, here I for was that. Here. Oh, yeah, everybody was here. Yeah. Jack? yeah I don't think I knew. Yeah, we had a whole like, meeting of the Matt. minds. I don't think yeah. I knew Matt for that long. Like, I just met you, like, last yeah, summer. Yeah, like, sometime then. Yeah, and I met you just, like, around the same time. I heard so many stories about you, like, for years. Like, the legend, it's a legend of Sir Cam. Legend <laughs> of Matt. What is it? <coughs> story. It's a uh, best selling. It's on Amazon. No. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Sir Ken, someone could write a movie about your life. Honestly. Yeah, I would make a Netflix. Do you think? About. Do you think um you're ever gonna 
move like back to well not turkey. move back to turkey but do you think you're ever going to move to turkey or do you think you're going to stay in america for the most of your life i want to move to turkey really yeah. like for your adult life yeah. what, you're gonna you leave you're gonna leave all your friends man do you think that's pr- relative to whoever is elected office or is it just either like who? No matter who. Guy, he's <laughs> no, yeah, he is. it's a general question. No, I was this like, is like the next CNN. No, panel. no, no I'm, asking like that, these, the I'm asking that because that's why a lot of people are moving out of speci- like oh, California, for example, because of because poli- of politics and just taxes, and ju- that's why everyone's moving to Texas. That's why I asked Sir Ken that. It's the, it's kind of like the same similar concept. Texas is a beautiful looking state. It man. is. I want to see it so bad. There's probably tractor supply. No, like people. Oh, are, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, tractor so supplies as far as the eye can see. To Texas, and he sees a traffic supply like every other corner. There's Bro. Like another traffic supply people. store. Like just people. remind him, like you're never gonna leave us. You know, like, people. Yeah. People in Texas though would probably see that tractor supply store and be like, "This is like some fake bullshit." Because they probably got like. I don't know real what it would be shit. called, got, like like Murphy real deal yeah. hardware stores and real deal feeds. Yeah, R- real deal fucking you can farm even, stores. You yeah, you have access to everything there, like cars, hardware equipment. We where? have one near us, um, True Value. Yeah, but like I feel like Texas is more like you got more availability to that True Value. Like they probably got better stuff there. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. Yo, but just do you know that place where you can just show up and buy like a crane? You know what I'm talking about when you drive by and it's like all these like orange like come, cranes come and like a oh lot. Yeah. Bro, they, imagine uh, just showing up and buying like a crane. You're mm-hmm. like, I'm I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna take <laughs> this out. Like, and then you're just up at the top of it, like driving it down the road. Like I'd be uh, <laughs> I'd be looking for a car to buy or sell a car on eBay, and then you see a, a lip like one, a crane thing there, <laughs> like on eBay. Man, have you ever um? Have you ever heard about the guy who jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge and lived? And lived, and lived. yeah. I watched his podcast, and how it's good. He, bro, what a crazy. He was on, story. Um, yeah. He was on Saved Lo- by he Seals, was on, right? Uh, he was on Logan Paul's podcast because they had to meet because of uh, Logan Paul did that video. Oh, so he like, and then he met him. He after, checked him. He like yeah, checked his privilege. Put him in his, yeah, basically, like I mean, he kind of. I think he just gave him like the better. Like he wasn't like mad at. at he kind of gave him just like uh, we're gonna talk about like why why you did what you did was wrong. Yeah, and yeah. then we're gonna fix it. Yeah. So yeah. he had him on his podcast, and he just basically told his whole story, how like uh, basically like his motive, motive behind the whole thing. Like I don't want to. I don't really know the whole full detail because I might mess up a lot of important. All things, I remember is him saying he was, the, he was. He said that when he was on the bus, he was on the bus, and like nobody, and like somebody made fun of him for crying. Like he was crying on the bus because he he was on his way to like to do it. And and then a guy was like, apparently someone else on the bus was like, oh, I saw made, this on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I put on. I reposted on my story, but they had. Uh, he's like, and he's like, man, nobody's gonna miss me if I die, and. For I don't. It's amazing because it's the Golden Gate Bridge. It's just like, what are the odds of surviving the? You the hit fall? the water like it's concrete. Yeah, at exactly. That, at you that break all kind your, of fall. Like yeah. I was literally thinking, like, like you the, smash all the your view bones from halfway down. Like he's like he because he said once he jumped, it was like he felt instant regret. Yeah, I, that's all I remember him and saying is like it, once I, think I jumped. It's such a miracle thing, you know, because I didn't do that, it. that's happened. Because I knew I didn't want to do you it. You have a guy who can really tell living proof of a guy and like trying to help people who's going through that yeah it's a really good thing absolutely and like the fact i especially now i think people like the state we're in right now like our country in our world like we're we're, it's such a tough with the pandemic and the politics and just everything else it's like everybody's just tearing each other like this is the one time we all need to unite to actually like actually get through unite. this, yeah, yeah. yeah right. And why do people jump off the bridge, off the Golden Gate Bridge? Because they, why do you think so, Because they well, feel I mean, depressed. They probably they they they, they want to commit suicide. But I thought it was cool because yeah. um they feel they, alone. They feel they feel they feel what's sick. His, um, they feel his name is I think his name's Kevin. I don't know his last. You're name. going through a tough time. It happens. But, you um, know, everybody goes through it. mm Hmm. But it was cool, like, he can, like, I think he's, like, trying to meet The Rock. Like, The Rock basically saved his life, he said. Like, he ended up going to rehab, I think. The Rock was just like, this is a job for me. <laughs> yeah, like, The Rock. Shout out to The Rock. He's yeah. so he's a, such a cool fucking guy. Yeah. 
I love dudes like that where it's like they're not like your like therapist, but it's just like a fucking cool well, guy. Like just, this guy can just it's fucking the inspira- like. It's the way like people carry themselves. Like I obviously none of us look like the Rock physically, but if you see what he's doing, you kind of feel like you're the Rock internally. <laughs> yeah, like, like the way he the way he like presents himself yeah. and treats people and carries himself. Like guys like that, like the will rock, always lend to success. Like today is uh, today's the one year anniversary of what Kobe, Kobe Bryant. Bryant's deaths. Yeah. Oh man, death. really? Like that was like the yeah, one. Rest like, in peace. I knew rest I wasn't gonna thing. like make it to the NBA. Like I wasn't good at basketball, but like <laughs> and it wasn't even like sports or celebrities. It was just like that was the guy that like I think a lot of people like try to like emulate just from like the mindset. The mama mentality. Yeah, the mom. Yeah, yeah just the mom. Like he was a like it was just he was insane. Like, such a hard worker and he loved his he sport loved like. That there's kids like that, like, like um, last night, like I played hockey, and like there's always the one kid or two kids that, that when everybody gets <laughs> off, they like stay on and shoot yeah. and shit. And it reminds me of that Mamba mentality. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I didn't really start watching like basketball until I was like 13, 14, but like I, I was watching, like I like that was near the end of that was when like this last few years when he was doing really good before the Achilles tear, and then he made the two free throws. With a torn Achilles, and then walked off the walked into the locker room like no help needed, like nobody can do that. Yeah, it's pretty nah, bad. no chance. Yeah, a torn Achilles is one of the most painful the injuries most, to have. But he's just one of those guys. It's like the same mindset that people like Bruce Lee had, where they're just so focused, they're so engaged mentally that like, it's just not even. He just his adrenaline is just through the roof. Like, like Kobe Bryant was just a guy. He, like, he was just a killer. Like he. Like I think he's, I would put him above LeBron. Like obviously they're both. It's so so work hard. ethic maybe because you yeah, got to remember th- LeBron is still he might not playing right now yeah, at a high he, level at thirty six. It's so hard to compare the two. Yeah, it is. It, like, it's a hard what, comparison. That's, that's what when people have put Kobe above him, the argument was his work ethic. But like people, not even it wasn't just basketball, but just people in general. Like that was the one guy I was like wanted to like. Emulate. Emulate the most yep. from a month. Like, he's up there with, like, The Rock and guys like um, like Kevin Hart. Like, those guys, do. they're always doing something. Yeah. It's like they run 24-7. It's oh, just yeah. Yeah, man. Did you ever see that dude on YouTube, David, David Goggins? David Goggins. Well, yep. he's another yeah. one. Can't be hurt. David Goggins is yep. another one. Like, even Mike, Mike Tyson is just another brilliant person. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> no, dude, I love I I like <laughs> Mike Tyson. Like is I, obviously a obviously we didn't grow up watching Mike, but like I've been hearing him talk on like his podcasts and it's just Yo. so he's such <laughs> a captivating like he's speaking the tr- like he's making so many good points just about life itself like like God. like the Bill Burr podcast is so good because yeah. he kind of t- becomes Bill's therapist like he's helping Bill come to peace with his own issues. And Mike Tyson's basically telling him he's like you got to let it go. <laughs> whatever you're, whatever you're holding on to, you gotta let it go. And he's like, I, Bill's like, I can't let it go. He's like, you think you read my mind, <laughs> <laughs> dude? H- how weird is it that people like our parents grew up watching Mike Tyson as yeah. like this amazing prize fighter, yeah. like, and then like, like someday like our kids will grow up and be like, oh Mike Tyson, like the podcaster slash, I know, um, weeds, weed well, got, slash marijuana invest really, like I, investor like, like, what, I got, like I started watching boxing just because Manny Pacquiao was like such a big thing in the Filipino community. So we would my family would always watch Pacquiao, and that's how I found out about like Mike Tyson. And then like I had the game like the fight night games. Where they had oh, Mike yeah. Tyson and Ali on the cover, and I would play those. I didn't even know those guys never even fought each other because they were just different eras. Yeah, yeah. When they were yeah. A kid. And I'm like, was, I'm like, when's the next Tyson versus Ali fight? And I'm like, didn't even know they're like in their fifties or like they're all retired now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, Ali's daughter is fucking um. She's she's is, good. She's good. Yeah. Yeah, she's a bad motherfucker. She'll oh, she's, knock your lights yeah. out, bro. She'll put you on your ass. Yeah, bro. Facts. Yeah. Yeah, well, like, watching, like, I, I don't know if, like, I watched the pay-per-view, and that was just, like, it was so cool to watch Mike. Even though he's, like, 54, you still got to you, see, You like, could see the explosive see power the, in his you punches. You see flashes. Yeah. It's, like, he, it's, he would lean into every punch, just... Like, it was big. vintage. I mean, I think Roy Jones <laughs> Jr. did... I think people are, like, knocking he, on him, he, but I think he's, he can move. He is the best... move. He is, like, the best moving boxer at his age. Yeah, like... Oh, yeah, there. Roy Jones? By yeah, far. Yeah, he was moving really good. By good. far. 
Like he well, he he made, he made Mike prime? miss. He yeah, yeah he was yeah he that was his like was that, was his, that was his shtick. He loved to like leave his hands open yeah, and like, fucking like toy champions. with pe- toy dude, with people. Dude, he left his hands down for one and then hit the I, dude and it was a knockout with the left hand with a jab. Yeah, he just I, surprised like, him with his so, jab. That yeah. was such a he, cool thing. He's just one of those like fighters who and like is like can manage like distance and is like comfortable like you know kind of similar good? to like McGregor even but yeah. not not in the last fight though he was really stiff but, in the like, last yeah. fight. Yeah, well he also hadn't fought for a yeah. while. So yeah, and he was, boxed up like he, he was. He's been doing all this boxing fucking training. Well, the Floyd, well, yeah, yeah the Floyd and he wasn't fight, loose like when he, he fights when he fights like himself. He's like loose. He's like oh, loose like, like almost like kind of like a Bruce Lee like he, he throws like Taekwondo kicks. like he was at yeah. his peak when with the the second Nate Diaz fight. Like that was one of the, yeah. where like, where he what was that like three years ago, about Something actually like that, yeah. When like Nate, his whole face is bleeding and the, he just keeps swinging, you know, because he's just a savage. Yeah, He'll bro. Just keep fighting until he's dead. He's crazy, yeah. bro. And, Connor, yeah, and Connor's the crazy. same way. And then like I think Connor only won by a point. Like like they went like the full, the full pl- the full course. Yeah, and that the judge went to the fight. judges. That was an amazing fight. And Joe Rogan's going crazy. <laughs> on the side line. He was like, I would never survive this. <laughs> you know who never disappoint whenever they match up? GGG and Canelo. Yeah. That will... Do, there I are two fights Canelo, were, it, I think, um... All I remember is Mayweather-Canelo. I remember that fight. Yeah. That was when Canelo really started taking off. Yeah. Mayweather said, sit your ass down, little boy. And then yeah, fucking, um... And then I feel like boxing Mayweather, Mayweather fought actually Ortiz. Helped him. Yeah, man. And then fucking And now he's fighting Logan Paul. <laughs> Ortiz head like Canelo? No, fucking Mayweather. Oh. No, was, Ortiz I want to see Logan Paul knocked out. Mayweather and then Mayweather was like they yeah. like they took a point off Ortiz and then Ortiz went, came over to be like, "Yo, I'm sorry, bro." Yeah, and that like dapped cool, him up bro. and then and then Floyd was like, "Yeah." Pah, and just fucking like stuck him in the fucking well, yeah. just yeah, snuck like, just snuck him and yeah, fucking I hit know. him. I love when um, and then that old guy like fucking was interviewing him, and and saying like, so how do you feel about that? That was a dirty hit, and Floyd was like, fuck you, bitch, like some blah blah blah, and the guy was like, if I was fifty years younger, I'd kick Floyd. your ass. Like, yeah, yeah I saw that one. Floyd yeah. is scary. I mean, they're like, I hate the people that are like, which nah, I mean, he's like out of his prime because he's forty three, but like, he's he the, was such a he's technical tr- boxer, trains, it wasn't really about. He still trains every day. Yeah, and they he's train still an amazing the way shape. they train in that like Detroit gym or He's wherever the fuck they breakfast. are is like that shit's like a doghouse like they like oh, they yeah. just they spar until someone's down like they like it goes for like 15 minutes yeah. straight like, um, like people just doing crazy like he, shit I don't know why, like he got mad like he's mad cuz it's like uh like the YouTubers are trying to say like he's telling the YouTubers like no nah, you guys play boxing like I do this for this is my life Oh, he so did like say that. He's like, you guys are just playing this Yo, he's going to lay out Logan Paul. He's going to put him I on his ass. I heard it might get canceled. That's bullshit. I no. want to see Logan Paul well, get his teeth chipped. Why would Logan chip. Paul ever agree to that? That's it's so stupid. It's it's such a weird. He's stupid. I, I think uh, I money don't it, matter I, when I your fucking brother, brains out. Yeah, yeah out right. His brother would have been ring. the one to. But. They have Jake Paul's fighting the the UFC guy. Yeah, he's going to get his ass kicked, too. Yeah, I forgot. What's his name? The I don't remember his name. I saw it today, like, actually. It was like I saw Jake was making fun of He's like, you look like the Napoleon Dynamite of the UFC. And then you see the guy's highlight. He's killing people's, like, ripping <laughs> people's heads off and stuff. But, yeah, he's the... Uh, <laughs> Bro, that's right. like Brock Lesnar when he first got in. Yeah. They're like, this guy, like, they were they would laugh at him because he's like, yeah, like, he kind of, like, is getting, like, fucked up on the moves. And, like, he moves around like a wrestler, kind of, and, like, whatever. Yeah. Like, but then Wrestlers? when he would catch... Somebody, bro. It was a wrap. It, he was just no, fucking. Wrestlers are slept he was, on. He was guys, an all-American wrestler. Guys who can wrestle, like yeah. grapplers. True, true. I, oh, I didn't realize he was. I forgot he was like an actual all-American wrestler, wrestler not just yeah. a WWE. Yeah. I'm thinking of him as a WWE no, wrestler. American, those guys are like, in good shape. Like they can, like wrestlers. And even those guys are all like, you like in good shape. Too. Like, They're in good shape, but they also do a lot of steroids. <laughs> yeah. But guys in you like jujitsu guys. I dude, I've been like that's the one thing I've always wanted to learn that I've put off. I'm yeah, mad I, at myself because I stopped. I think we should all go you take it karate? together. And has then it has it's off of um, off of uh, right near Rocco's collision. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I that think was real. You he did, was amazing at it. He you was did really karate. Is that like a? Is that like no, a um, Brazilian jiu jitsu? Is, is he like young? Is he like kind of? He's like in his mid forties, maybe mm. early fifties now. 
Is did, does he have a kid or something? I don't think so. Lo- Dude's name s- is John Hassett. Cause like I know a a bull named Johnny Hassett. That's like Hassett's jujitsu, but he's like a kid. I'm pretty sure that might be his son then. Yeah. When'd you start Probably. doing that? I did that my sophomore year of high school through the beginning of my senior year. That's dope. How, how'd you like it? It was really good. I just wish I had the commitment. Was it just uh, like physical? The physical toll was just. It really cool. wasn't even that high of a physical toll. How many? I was also in because yeah, you're pretty like good roll, shape. You're, cause you're you're rolling with people and you it's guys, like you guys do break falls. On the mats, like, uh, you guys practice, like, um, like slamming yourselves on the mats, like, learn how to break Well, we, fall. we would practice on each other getting slammed. Like, getting slammed, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it puts you in shape. That's what it I used to do. It puts you, it makes you learn how to brace for it. Like, they literally. It's did, a lot of core like when Like, that brace. was the warm-up. Like, we would have partners and, like, That one wasn't of us a warm-up for us. That was, like, when we were going through our lessons, each of us would go through great. the move. And then they, you guys would, would you guys grapple at the end? Yeah, yeah, we would run a little bit of grappling at the end. Nothing too crazy. We would have one live day where somebody would act like like the uh, the robber or whatever. Yeah. And then it, it's full contact. There's punching and everything. You'd wear gloves. Oh, that's then, fun yeah, as hell. Yeah, I was watching. Um, yeah. Like, that's so fun you would, as hell. You it's can't so hit back, but they can hit you. They won't hit you real oh, hard. If, if you're the robber, you can't hit yeah. back? No, if you're the robber, you can hit. You can do whatever the but hell you need to do. you got to break out of it. You gotta defend. You gotta. Is it one on one or is it? Yeah, like it's one on one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, then yeah. they would. I try to apply. Uh, so if you're the victim, you can only grapple. Yes. Okay. Because yeah. it's trying to teach you to use the actual move. I was like curious. Yeah. And they're like, good. They're like. Because you guys learn arm locks and. Yeah, yeah. Americanas, Camaros. Um, In wrestling, that's illegal. I didn't oh even fuck know. yeah, that's illegal. Yeah, like kids huh. were trying to like if a kid was trying Snap to apply somebody's to like wrestling, like yeah. they're like, no, that you can't do. It. You're gonna get kicked out, man. Put somebody in a triangle. <laughs> you'd be the scare. You'd be. You'd make headlines though. <laughs> For a kid wrestler, like, uh, didn't you say you did that in high school and like all the coaches are like laughing and shit? Like I didn't know, dude. I I, I did wrestling. They're just so like, you're gonna break his fucking I, I did arm. It for like, like a week and a <laughs> half, and like I was just like. I just didn't have the mindset like you said. I wasn't com- I I wasn't committed like, either. That was I started thing. going to the gym really committed when I got to like 19, 20 years old when I was more mature. That's how when I, I joined was. wrestling. I was like 15. Mm. I lost a lot of weight so I can like cuz I dropped to 132 because I was like I was still like the same height but I wanted to wrestle smaller kids. That was my whole yeah, strategy. Yeah. And I I just I lost I all the weight and I couldn't I, I couldn't stick with it. I was like I hate this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I just fuck hate- that shit. Did no, you I, feel I strong just, I at 132? Dieting. Oh, I felt strong, but, like, you're not, like, at your peak because you're not eating a lot. Yeah. But you still feel, mentally, you're strong. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's oh, what and you wrestling? need, though, in wrestling. Yeah, that's what Why you need. Why would they, like, switch around your weight classes and all that? I heard I, that I, was kind of, nah, like, a thing. I, I did it personally. Like, nobody asked me to wrestle. It was just one of my friends, outside friends who wrestled in high school, told me, like, to cut weight. And I agreed with him because I started lifting weights the summer of freshman year, high school. And then I joined this following year, like sophomore year. So I was like lifting weights while I was sticking to this crazy diet where I wasn't eating a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I was like trying to make myself strong. I think you should have just like now when I looking back, I sh- I could have just stayed at like the weight I am or cut tr- like 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 McGregor would cut weight. Oh, his his one weight cut was crazy. Yeah, like it was cr- like, like he looked like a skeleton. He looked like he, he was, was a crackhead. Beat. Like Dude. I wanted to be. I thought I can maybe wrestle like one fifty, but like if I can bench like two twenty five, or I can like, but like I can have that balance where I still have good conditioning. Wait, you were benching two twenty five? No, but I'm just saying if I was. I was able say to, I just like, touched two o five. If I was benching like even one eighty, I think if he was if I was benching one eighty five like easily, and I was like in good shape, like I can still run. Because mm-hmm. wrestling, you need you need to be oh, able you to need run endurance for that. Yeah, they, yeah. You make need you neck run. muscles. You need like traps and all that. We were doing the backwards push-ups, like on like you know your your back is arched. Like bro, I need ground. neck muscles. Like it was. That's how I feel, bro. Like like because I'll go to work out and like we'll we'll lift and it'll feel good and I feel like I'm like pretty like strong and balanced and everything. But then like the one place where like I feel like I just lack is like I don't actually in your neck like work my neck, you know. It's weird. I never um, really do yeah, I shrugs, but I think I think the deadlifts do help it. Yeah, deadlifts definitely help. But I just yeah. mean like just like not even shrugs, like like your traps, but like your straight up like your this, neck. like your neck. Yeah. yeah. I, like and right also here. getting all getting all that shit like like I don't know about you, but my shit back there is kind of like 
knotted up. Mine yeah. is pretty bad, too. I try to foam roll it, and you just can't get it out. Yeah. You guys yeah. going for abs? Yeah. I have to start doing abs a lot like when crazier. I, uh, when I was cutting the weight, when I was like, I was like chiseled. I want to start cutting like, in like. I'm gonna be a movie actor. I'm gonna February. start. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting mid February, I think. Yeah. Yo, we I'm, should do it together. We should yeah. all fucking chisel. do a cut. Yeah, I'll chisel. Do it. But yeah, but a long term one, so it's not like a crazy. Well, yeah, like, cut we'll down. still, like we'll, still ha- we'll still eat well, but like, like my it'll friends be in like the army, like they different would, food, they would just, just eat like, cleaner at first, and then yeah. we cut to like cutting calories. Right now is like the fattest you should be all year. Oh, like, dude, think I'm 170. You know? I'm 170, too. I'm, I'm 170. I'm fucking little, 200, bro. <laughs> I'm God fucking dang. 190. I, I cracked 200 on the scales like a f- couple of weeks ago. I was like, oh, I'm getting Congratulations. Big, oh, I'm getting yeah, big. but I got, a, it, I got a feeling you're going to get it all back in muscle, though, once you start. Dude, when is Yeah, it's like? just going to... Yeah. Why? And we've no, been going back to the gym more, which is nice. Damn, boys. Um, What are we at? Five. We could probably we could we could, I'm I'm trying to get some food. I don't know about you yeah, guys. I'm starving. Yeah, need to go to the bathroom a little. Yeah, bit. thank thank you guys for doing this podcast. No, this was super right. fun, oh, dude. Of course. We we could always we could literally party. talk about anything under the sun, and it's always a good, great time. Yeah. So thank 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 you guys for being here. Thank everybody for listening. Um, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, yeah. and we love you. Take care of each other, and we'll see you guys. Adios.